Hello my crafty community and welcome back to my channel. In this video I'm going to be going over another month of Smash That Small Paper Pad, a collaboration hosted by Deb Hauk of Deb Hauk's Crafty Cottage. So let's get started. Last month I gave you a hint that I was going to be using this paper pad this month. This was part of a de-stash from Amalia of Cool Cakes and Crafts with Amalia. I bought it from her and I decided to use it this month and maybe next month too. So let me show you what I got done. I used several things for this time around. I did some embossing. So I have my Versamark ink, my little embossing buddy, I used copper, and then this is a no-name brand I bought a long time ago. And I also used clear. I used clear powder. And I still had a bunch of these turkeys of different colors that I got from Etsy back when I started crafting and I still have some. So maybe I'll get them completely done next month. And then I had some punches. These two I just bought because I had one of these for years and it died. And this one makes a really teeny tiny little oak leaf very cute. And then this I've had for a while. This is a pine cone. And then I used my primary colors were Early Espresso and Cherry Cobbler. And I used several stamps. Thanksgiving, that's from the Hero Art Kit. Happy Thanksgiving is from the Stampin' Up! set. Pleasant Pheasants. And then this other Happy Thanksgiving. That's from a set. I'm not sure where. And then the inside. I did a few inside. And that's from another, I don't know, no name set. All right. This is my first card. I used as many of my store-bought card bases as I possibly could because that is my goal. So happy Thanksgiving, heat embossed, nouveau drops, and that would be Golden Sunset. They're glitter drops. And there's my turkey. And I didn't put anything on the inside of this one yet. Happy Thanksgiving again with the Nuvo Drops. And this is in Early Espresso. I stamped in Early Espresso and then just covered it with clear embossing. And then I popped the turkey up on foam tape. And there's that little oak leaf. The turkey is popped up. Thanksgiving. That is in this. Yeah, and then I went ahead and put the little leaf there. And there's a little leaf. I, I used some pattern paper to cut it out. And a little strip here. And then this is the only one that I did this way. I had the Happy Thanksgiving card. I don't know what you call it. Cut apart. And so I layered it. Oh, and I forgot to mention I also used this. This is the Stampin' Up! Cat and Emboss folder, Woodland Embossing folder. I think they, they had one years ago. They took it away and they brought back this one. So that's what I've been using 
on these mats. I don't know if you can see it here. But anyway, these are the pine cones. I cut this out of paper that I had gotten from Michaels. And then this is a bow I got from Etsy, a company from Moldova. And here I, I added the green turkey. So that's the only one like that. And here again, I think you can see this a little better, the imprint of the embossing folder. Thanksgiving. Here again. This is copper. Yeah, this is the copper. Of pumpkins and other gourds. Pop that up. I actually, this is a, the second, the red one is the second one. I, I had a brown one on here, then I found the red one, so I put it on because I thought it matched better. So this has got a little bit of dimension to it. And then last but not least, I, I went ahead and heat embossed this in clear. It was green. I used the clear. It was kind of difficult to do the turkeys because I had to hold it. I used the tweezers to hold it. And of course, wherever I held it didn't get heat embossed. So it was a little bit tricky. So if anybody has suggestions for that, I'll take it. So those are my 10 cards for Smash That Small Paper Pad. And as usual, there is a list of other collaborators down in the description box. And I would love for you to go watch them and see what they created and give them some love. Thank you again for joining me and we will see you next time. Bye-bye.